beautiful people welcome back to the royal kingdom estates channel i hope you're all doing amazing this right here is the motherland series and as you definitely know by now this show is where we have you know candid conversations with people that are coming into the country going out listening to their journeys their experiences with ghana and outside as well and today i'm doing a double conversation with two beautiful women their sisters ladies and gentlemen let's warmly welcome luna and irama hi hello <laughs> hi, how are you i'm good how are you I'm good mm -hmm. everybody's doing okay yeah, yeah thank yes. you okay so for our audience can you please give us a little background about yourselves let me start with luna yes um my name is luna i originally live in california okay and um i came to ghana this time for my grandmother's funeral okay. and um in california i'm a wellness consultant i have my own business and i like to travel to ghana about like so far it's been like every year every <laughs> yes. wow okay you like ghana that much yes that's yes. wonderful we're gonna come here. back to it okay so irama <laughs> yes hi my name is irama and i live originally i live in houston texas but i'm from ghana also we were raised here born in the states but raised in ghana most of our lives and so we have a lot of family here and we do come back almost every year just to enjoy yeah. spending quality time and getting better acclimated with the country I see. Yeah. Well, first and foremost, I'm sorry for your loss. My Thank condolences. You. Thank you. Um, but how was it like being born um, outside? How was growing up in the States like for you? Um, I can answer. Yeah, sure. So um, I, went, I came here when I was very, I was a baby mm -hmm. when I was sent to Ghana and my grandmother who just passed away. She was one that raised us okay. growing up. So we were raised in Ghana. We went to school here for a little bit. Then after a while- Oh, what, what schools did you go to? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> we're old now. I know. <laughs> but um, we went to most of our primary school, a little bit of JSS, okay. and then went back to the States to yeah. complete um, high school and college and everything from there. So. Um, being like it's kind of I got the best of both worlds right. being in Ghana for the culture the tradition mm -hmm. and part of my identity and then being raised in America for mostly like environmental industrializing and yeah. growing up to kind of become who I am and everything so okay. I love it yeah so you I have the best of both yes worlds. I do understanding the language the mm -hmm. culture knowing like I can trace back four great great grandparents yeah. knowing them growing up with them mm -hmm. like i grew i knew my great great grandmother yeah. which is crazy That's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. so yeah I, I love it i love the culture i, and I love the tradition that it comes with being a Ghanaian. okay well luna would you say that um being born there and having you know lived here going back and forth do you think it has shaped the person that you are today and has informed yeah. your perspective on certain things yes definitely i think that just being able to travel mm -hmm. shapes who you are. And so seeing how our traditions and our cultures yeah. here are very different than that in America. Sure. So I think having the best of both worlds kind of makes you a better person in general because sure. you understand that um, there are different cultures mm -hmm. outside of just America. America yeah. is very into America. So being able to get out and knowing that you are from somewhere mm -hmm. and you do have people who support you from somewhere else and there is somewhere to go is yeah. like really important to yeah. me. Okay. As, as a core Ghanaian, mm -hmm. as somebody who uh, you have your foundations, you know, being built or being rooted in Ghana, what is one thing that you absolutely love about the culture? Um. I love our language. I love okay. that I speak tree, fante. I love that. It's in fanta. No. Okay. <laughs> I love that I can speak another language mm -hmm. and I'm not just stuck to English. Yeah. And I love that I can do that anywhere and everywhere and feel comfortable mm -hmm. in the sense of gossiping, just staying, yes. hanging out with different people. <laughs> yeah. I love that. I, hey, this is me and my identity. Mm -hmm. And I can see my fellow sister or brother from somewhere and yeah. we vibe based on we speak our language and we're from the same country. So that's one thing I love about being Ghanaian. I see. Mm -hmm. Luna, is that the same for you? Um, I think the sense of like safety here. Okay. Like when we're out, even if it's a lot of people, like everybody looks like you and you know people go out of their way to show like 
friendship yeah. and just support and even yeah. safety like to make sure that everybody's okay everybody's having a good time god is all about peace and friendship mm -hmm. and just welcoming and like having a great time so i like that aspect of just being able you can even be out at 2 a.m and mm -hmm. nothing will happen to you yeah. here you don't have that same no, outside no i wouldn't be out late <laughs> not yeah. too late unless it was what, like why is that just because of how the culture is there it's not as safe yeah. especially if uh, being a woman of color yeah. so when you out, when you're out here and you see other people of color yeah. like they're basically like your brothers and sisters mm -hmm. to always look out for you here right. and it's not that case there it's very everyone's kind of to themselves mm -hmm. so i like that aspect of like everybody is supportive of one another right. here. Yeah. that's wonderful how long did you stay this time I'm um, three, three weeks. weeks. Three yeah. weeks. We're in our third week now. Okay. Mm -hmm. How has it been so far? It's been wonderful, especially <laughs> when I stay here at the decade. Yeah, Yay. this is not an ad. Okay. No. <laughs> <But> <laughs> Literally, our because last year we, mm -hmm. we all stayed in one Airbnb. Okay. But this year, everyone was kind of doing their own project, so we all kind of split ourselves up. Okay. And so some of them stayed in our family house, and okay. we decided to stay here. So they were like, "Hey, we not like those kids." And so I'm like, "No, <laughs> no. we're not expecting <laughs> <not enough. laughs> We have hot water yeah. all the time. We have continuous electricity. Yeah. So most of my my son has been staying in here in yeah. instead of one because when I go out then I'm like oh but when I'm here I'm relaxed I'm watching TV mm -hmm. watching movies and mm -hmm. we get to go to the pool upstairs and yeah. relax so they've been coming here so that and we enjoy can enjoy it with you. <laughs> yes. yes but honestly it's this is where I stay, mm -hmm. most, anytime I travel anywhere, where I'm gonna stay in yeah. my head is the most the important, important part. Like I'll spend a good amount of money on getting really comfortable yeah. living situation mm -hmm. versus all the outside excursions. Yeah. Where I stay is so important. So I was really excited when we got here and it was what it looked like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so You didn't get a what you yes, ordered versus what exactly. you got. Yes. <laughs> yes. So um it is so for me that's one of the important things about yeah. when I travel is getting a good place to stay. And so I don't mind because if I don't do an excursion, then I can still mm. enjoy being indoors. Yeah, I'd rather be be comfortable in where I am. Yeah, yeah. let me run this uh, by the audience real quick. So, as most of you know, we have a luxury apartment inside East Airport called the Decade. This is actually where we're filming today. We're inside the decade so we have two bedroom apartments whenever you want to have you know a luxury stay just like they just said <laughs> enjoy yourself be comfortable get yeah. the home away from home experience just contact us on all our outlets and we will put you in the best rooms or apartments yeah. you've yeah. ever stayed in your whole life yeah so wait so how how did you end up at the decade in the first place um, me, so I'm kind of the planner when we travel. <laughs> yes. okay. I need and I like to be very organized, and she'll just like give the money and be like, "Hey, here, do what you're doing." So I saw it on Facebook. Okay. One of my friends posted mm -hmm. the decade on Facebook. So I was like, "Hey, I'm going to Ghana in a few weeks, and I'm looking for a place to stay." Yeah. So he was like, "Oh, check them out," and he mm -hmm. gave me the number. Okay. So when I called. Um, I got someone who responded right immediately and they were like, oh yeah, we have many options. So they oh. sent me some links yeah. to what I like. And then I chose one and then it was it was very simple mm -hmm. and everything. So originally we were, I was going to go through Airbnb, but I was like, oh, this is actually faster. Yeah. Yeah. And it came recommended from someone else. So okay. I, that's always the best for me when someone has also had great experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Luna, do you like the vicinity, the yes. environment? Mm -hmm. I am a content creator. So this okay. is just my vibe to make all the stuff I do for my business i see that's wonderful anyway so um coming right back have you had um you know uh direct relations with royal kingdom estates apart from being here at the decade mm, no okay. this is our first time okay. with them yeah the next time you come please page me i'll take you to all of our sites oh yeah okay. because okay. i do know that you're looking to relocate yes. right okay B back to ghana fully yes mm -hmm. I see. What's what informed that decision? Why do you want to move here 100%? I would say just peace of mind. Okay. It's so like 
everybody's just so peaceful out here that it doesn't matter what you're doing. Yeah. It's just there's always a sense of peace at the end of the day. Mm. So just being here with the weather, the culture, like to be able to just access anything, you mm -hmm. can do anything you want, yeah. Ghana, honestly. <laughs> so yeah. um, that is a big deal to not be in the stress of the daily nine to five yeah. and just like work, 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 and just coming here to like step back and just take in everything that Ghana has to offer. Yeah, and since you are originally from here, it's even better. Yes, right? it's you even have family, better. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you're not going to do research on a new place yeah. or a foreign location. Yeah. You you are Ghanaian, so yes. it works that way. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, when you're ready, mm -hmm. please come to me. Okay. I have a wonderful lunch yeah. with mountain yeah. views. Oh, yes. Hiding views that I can plug you to for you okay. to get settled Absolutely. in. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I look forward to that part. Yes. Yeah. But if you're looking to relocate here that means um, you're going to be spending a lot of time here and you as a content creator mm -hmm. what are some opportunities that you see in Ghana that can help you know you and your business and your content mm -hmm. I initially actually am planning on um, doing retreats in Ghana like wellness okay. retreats mm -hmm. I do like meditation and like I'm really into the wellness field mm -hmm. and I've noticed that there's a lot of like serene places here yeah. that do it and like especially up in the mountains mm -hmm. and stuff so I would love to like explore the different places that I would be able to take people to and show them yeah. like a different side of Ghana not like the partying side mm -hmm. the wellness, the wellness and um, self-care side of it that's wonderful yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, now just now that you mentioned it, I'm thinking about they've started these. Um, you see, we have some very, very nice waterfalls in Ghana. Mm -hmm. I've seen people yeah. doing these massages while yeah. the waterfall is oh, so yeah. basically stuff like that to showcase, you know, the relaxing, mm -hmm. the wellness aspect, or all of all, all of that other stuff that Ghana has to offer. Yes. Basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see. I'm yeah. looking forward to that. Absolutely. Uh, when you start my first one. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you, Rama? Um, for me, it's also the sense of peace okay. and safety, as she said. Living in the States is a lot of stress, very stressful. The going out mm -hmm. and everything, gun violence. I know you guys hear about that all the time, like the gun violence in America is crazy yeah. and scary. Mm -hmm. And so being able, you can't even go to the grocery store without it being in the back of your mm -hmm. mind, like somebody could walk in here yeah. with a gun and kill all of us. Wow. So I don't have that when I'm here. Mm -hmm. And like she said earlier, walking around with people that look like you, that also emulate things that you like, and you can yeah. feel a sense of brother and sisterhood mm -hmm. with people around you. Mm -hmm. It's so comforting yeah. to know that, okay, am I, I'm going in this space, am I gonna be racially profiled? Are they gonna look at me funny? Are they gonna service me correctly yeah. just because of what I look like? But here, Everybody looks like me. Yeah. And it's wonderful. The police look like you. The government looks like you. Yeah. You know, so it's kind of even though everybody every country has its own challenges, yeah. it feels really good to just be at peace and mm -hmm. to feel comfortable in a space that you are in. Yeah. No, I'm happy for you on that note. And um, this question might differ a little bit since you're Ghanaians, but um how has the reception from um, the locals been? Because we have sometimes when diaspora uh, diasporas come to Ghana, they complain a little bit about, okay, we're coming from a different space, you know, the culture is different, the way of living is different. Sometimes they feel like um, the locals aren't very accepting because they're like, okay, you're taking something from somewhere and you're bringing it into my home. Yeah. It. But is it the same towards you or is it different because you're Ghanaians? Um. To say that, well, the thing is, even though we're Ghanaian, mm -hmm. I think people can tell we don't live here when we go places. As soon as she starts speaking, yeah, yeah. We, not even that, like we get stared at, like you don't look like you're from here, and we'll go to <laughs> Makala and they're like, no, you're not from here. <laughs> so with that, we do get the stares, and yeah, the, we're like, okay, where are you from? But I think. As the saying goes, when in Rome, you do what the Romans do. Even yeah. though we are Ghanaian and our family is Ghanaian, mm -hmm. we, we come from a different place. Yeah. And we're not going to come here and say, I'm American and these are my American culture. So right. just deal with it. And I think a lot of people that come from the diaspora, they have in their mind that they're going to get that same everything that they get in America is going to be in Ghana and it's yeah. completely not. Yeah. So you have to kind of prep your mindset mm -hmm. of you're coming to a different country. Yeah. So the laws are different, the people are different, mm -hmm. the, the the environment is different. So you have to prep yourself that I may not get all the conveniences that I right. get when I'm in America here, but, and then you kind of have to adjust to it because yeah. I'm in another country. So you can't expect to have your American comfortabilities kind of infringe it right. on the Ghanaians here because 
it doesn't work that way. True. Yeah, and that's the mindset you have to have when you travel. Mm -hmm. is you're gonna go to a place where it doesn't look anything like where you come mm -hmm. from. And so prep your mindset. Yeah. We we went to bury my grandmother in the village. So mm -hmm. we were in our village in Volta for well now OT region, but we were in Rara <laughs> for like a few days. Okay, you know, no light, bucket to take a shower. <laughs> a you whole have to other adjust. Experience. You know yeah. what I mean? You have to adjust. You're yeah. walking everywhere. There's like one hotel and all. Like, yeah. You know, you have to adjust <laughs> to it. And I'm yeah. not gonna come be like, well, you know, I want this or I want that because that's right. not what the culture was. Sure. So, How yeah. was that experience though? Did you it enjoy it? It was amazing. It? Yeah. I had so much fun. Um, and like, I feel like the village has the best food. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it does. That's true. Because <laughs> everything is sourced directly so from the ground. Right from it's the like, ground. Yeah, from yeah. the farm to your plate. Yeah. yeah. And it's the best ones, the yeah, healthiest the food ones. It was so fresh. What was, the, was what was the one thing that you enjoyed so much? Food. For me, it was mostly the fruits. The fruits, fruit. yeah. yeah, fruit. Okay. Yeah, the fruit was. Mm -hmm. It was so good. It tasted completely different. <laughs> yeah, it's like so fresh. There's no chemicals. Yeah, in the yeah. <laughs> I see. Yeah. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Anyways, now that you're going, when are you gonna come back, though? Do we're, you know? We're planning for mm -hmm. next year. Sometime. Next year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And when you come back, what are going to be the activities? Um, she's planning her birthday, so her thirty-fifth okay. birthday. Happy yeah. birthday, and Brian! Yeah, I know. <laughs> so we're planning to come back and um celebrate it. Okay. I've seen there. There's a lot of like different resorts mm -hmm. that are like tropical resorts mm -hmm. that I've seen um like just online and yeah. so I want to check some of those out okay to get yeah. out of the city a mm -hmm. little bit and kind of go out right a little bit wonderful of, yeah. let's talk a little bit about developments in Ghana you've been going in and out every time you come probably something is different mm -hmm. so how what what would you say on the developmental rate of Ghana the roads for me when um when I, I we've come for at like almost every year for almost all our lives okay. and it's really developed with the roads getting better i know okay. it's not the best a lot of people complain it's like, <laughs> but it's for me just because yeah, because maybe because i don't live here so when i come i see me, right. it looks new mm -hmm. the roads and also the infrastructure a lot of building i know a lot of people are buying property right. and really investing in ghana mm -hmm. so seeing the like the apartments and the building and how the house yeah. are being built it's mm -hmm. so much better than 10 years ago two years ago yeah when you know it's being built it's not um it's not so old school yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> as it used to be and um just the infrastructure in itself mm -hmm. it looks better it looks safer it looks stronger and there's so much innovation yeah to me yeah. like it literally ghana could literally look like america with all the development yeah. going around. Think it, it, fingers crossed on that. Hopefully yeah. we get like, there I, very Honestly, soon. it's not much of a difference. I even feel like the structure here mm -hmm. for the, the foundation of building, it's way better. Okay. Like they use a lot of wood to build houses yes. in America, but here uh -huh. they're using the concrete and mm -hmm. the structure and it seems more sturdier yeah. mm -hmm. to me. Okay. Than, yeah. And Miss Luna, before you run away, what are some investment opportunities that you feel um, diasporas can explore when it comes to Ghana and what areas would you advise them? Them too. I would advise them from what I've seen on my trip is to invest in electricity. Okay. Here and um because I feel like at this point in this year there shouldn't be lights off. That would be wonderful. <laughs> yeah, <I'm sorry. laughs> like I heard that there was hospitals that experience it and people yes. are suffering due to that. Mm -hmm. So that's a big thing. And also just the like traveling transportation. Yeah. I know it's pretty Uber and like Bolt and stuff has mm -hmm. been pretty good just going out, but I think it could be more advanced. So yeah. it'd be easier to yeah. go somewhere mm -hmm. and be able to travel around the whole country. Mm -hmm. It would be better if we had more options. Yes, exactly. more options, yes. That would be wonderful. Okay, okay. and okay. finally, just in general, what would you like to say to the people watching you? I would like to say <laughs> <laughs> that um, Ghana is somewhere I feel like everybody in the world should come to at least once. Yeah. The people here are very hospitable. Mm -hmm. It's a peaceful place. It's like a peaceful country. There's no war. There's no, um, you're going to feel safe here and you're going to feel welcome. And I think everyone should experience this culture to mm -hmm. take back and share with other cultures. Right. Exactly. And you? Um, same, I yeah. would say, I, I enjoy being so breath of fresh air okay. and um, from the food to the environment to the people, yeah. regardless of whatever issues 
like, you know, things you hear within politics, government, mm -hmm. and whatever, it's still so peaceful. It's still one of, one of the great experiences of traveling that yeah. I've ever had. And comparing it to where I'm coming from, I would choose Ghana. <laughs> I know that a lot of people here are like, yeah, because you don't mm -hmm. live here. But um, with understanding, I guess you have to go out to see other places to now yeah. really appreciate right. what you have at home. Yeah. So, Even your skin looks better definitely. here. Yeah. Right? It does. <laughs> okay. You're outside and you're glowing and the yes, sun is right. hitting you. You're getting all the nice day. camera angles. <laughs> yeah. The sun feels a lot better. Here. Okay. So, yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us and our wonderful audience. Thank it's you. been amazing uh, listening to you and your journey and your experiences thank in you. Ghana. And I love the fact that you enjoyed your stay at the decade as well. Yeah, when you come yeah, up yeah. next year, please come to us. We will. Yeah. By the time you come, maybe we would have expanded and you yeah. have like extra Other pools things. on the rooftop. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah, I definitely would. Yes. Yeah. So, guys, do subscribe to the channel, share the link, like the video. We'll come back with more. See you in the next video. Right. Take you. care. Thank you.